What I want to show you today is uh, something that uh, we have been working on for uh, maybe a year or so. Um, what you're going to see is a hot off out of the, out of the oven. Um, just this morning up to now, I was clicking around to make sure that the click path that I'm going to show you today does not have errors. <laughs> okay, So we're OK. We're safe. Um, it is a uh, peer to peer review system, uh, hopefully that we will end up adopting uh, in ISI. The primary objective of it is to make everybody's life easier and enhancing the quality of feedback and interaction. It's as simple as that. So um, what I would like to do first, if you don't mind, and I'm not sort of like telling you you have to if you'd like to is I want to go fast for five minutes or 10 minutes over the interface, and then I'm going to shut it down a little bit. And if you could answer those, just an emotional response. Don't think about it. OK, just click, 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 click. And if something you don't feel like or you don't know how to answer, just skip it. It's OK. You don't have to answer everything in there. It's just scales. And what I'd like to do is then we'll, we'll publish what you guys felt about it as an initial first reaction. Um, I feel strong about the emotional response and uh, commitments we make to our life. So this is one of them. What? All of you. <laughs> um, OK, so let me try to go to, uh, let me minimize it. So. In line with the Informing Science Institute websites, it's a standard website where it has the home, journals, and conferences, books. That's something we're looking into as, as another look for the ISI. But what most importantly is what we call Icarus. And let me give you an idea, philosophy behind the, uh, the concept of Icarus. So the idea of Icarus is that, uh, when in ancient Greece, uh, um, Menelaus, uh, uh, there's a guy who's a master craftsman. He helped the, uh, the, uh, uh, the enemy, and the king sent him to, uh, to Crete, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with his son. Uh, so the craftsman. Yeah. So Daedalus is the father and Icarus is the son. And so Daedalus, that being a master craftsman, he said, we have to escape, cannot take uh, this thing of being jailed. So he created wings out of wax and uh, bird's feathers. But he told his son Icarus, listen, don't fly too high. If you fly too high, closer to the sun, it's going to melt, you're going to fall. And don't fly too, too, too low because people can reach you. They can hit you with whatever it is they have with their hands. <laughs> so. Icarus, while he was enjoying his freedom like I usually do, and I'm flying while I'm writing an article and so on, <laughs> and I want to say things and do things, what he did, he fell to the trap of freedom, and he flew too high, and uh, exactly the wax melted and fell down. So the idea behind Icarus is achieving balance in doing research, uh, no bias in any type of approach, and so on and so forth. So this is really the, the, the main idea why I thought of uh, Icarus. So if we go to um, the website again. OK. So when we go to Icarus, and you log in, and I here have a user, some user. So as a, as a user, you will see all the journals you are interested in. In, in this case, I, I added all the journals that we have at ISI. So in JITE, that's the case that I have. At the, at the interface here in your workspace, you have a message board that's controlled by the editor-in-chief or chief editor. These are your articles that you are working on. You could be working on one, two, three, four articles. It doesn't matter. It could be some are, are developing at different stages. The beauty about this, this space here, and I will show you in two seconds, is that it allows you to collaborate with others. So you can invite others into that article space alone. And you could have a centralized resource to uh, share um, in the writing of the article, articles. And here are the articles under review. 
So if you submit one article or two articles, or whatever, you see the state they're in there. And these are the articles published. So you can access all the articles in ISI externally or after you log in. So you don't have to go out and in all the time and so on. So if you click on one of the articles, this is an article that is in progress. And I just click on it. And that's OK. So the article here is, includes these tabs, the article space, the article creation space. So the article properties, which is the titles and so on, as a standard uh, information, uh, to what topic it belongs to, keywords, and so on. And when the article, you can put the progress of the article, and when the article is finished, you could submit it for review. There is no need for saving it, doing this, doing that, uh, uploading it, uh, attaching it to a, um, to a link, uh, emailing it, uh, you forgot who to email it to, and so on. <coughs> now, in the article text, you control all the sections in the article. So if you have an article right now that already is in Word, you can actually create the sections very easily by adding a new section. If I want to add a section, I can say, OK, I want to add here, uh, uh, let's say, biography. And I add it. And uh, you don't have to worry about the sequencing of the sections because what I have been using that, this with many other colleagues, and many of my colleagues have been using it with their colleagues. We create buckets of information, and we say, you uh, input that information in this uh, section, you in this section, you in this section. And then later on, we can always shuffle around what we want in terms of the section to put it into the sequence. We can also edit the title. So it's really an iterative process. And so. Um, you can insert images, you save the text, you can have files, you have a repository that are related to this article, all the files that you need are here, which can be linked to through the, uh, through the article. You have the references here, uh, which follow a specific template, so in ISI we have a specific template, we're going to create the ISI template exactly to perfection the way we want it, and then you can put all your articles there. In the future there will be an export-import feature from EndNote. Also, there's the discussion part where the people who are collaborating can actually discuss issues before and uh, sort of like keeping a thread uh, for this. And that's a nice feature which I can contribute to your section and you to mine and so on. And we can have a rollback, sort of a versioning control. Everyone who, um, who contributed, what did they do, and the comments, which says what kind of changes and why. And we can roll back to anyone we want. And every, as we add to it, we can always see the uh, preview of it when it's all combined together into the whole article. So in this case, um, OK. So this is basically what we're looking at as the article generation space and the submission. Once it's submitted, like in this case, it was submitted, this article, and it was reviewed. And it goes through the whole sequence. When you submit the article, the editor-in-chief finds an associate editor. The associate editor finds the reviewers. The reviewers are notified with all the logistics in place. Then it goes, flows backwards. So it's like flows downwards, then flows backwards. All the supply chain of that knowledge and information is managed uh, to reduce all the, uh, the job of, of the people involved, the stakeholders. So in this case, you can also submit it from here. So now what I want to do, if you can just take two minutes, just tell me your first emotional response to something like that. And then Carolyn is going to pick them up. And then I'll show you how the results will look, how the reviews. So you can see actually what kind of feedback you will get out of it. OK, so let me just show you the rest of it, because this is uh, uh, thinking about many issues that system, it's not only the collaboration, the connecting the community of scientific researchers, plus yes, there are a lot of tools there, that, but all these tools have different purpose, whether it's uh, uh, video conferencing, Skyping, uh, blogging, whatever it is, they're all there, but they're dispersed. The whole idea of this one is bringing all those tools in the same place, 
where you have your own toolbar, like a speed rack and a bar. If you're a bartender or ever worked in bartending, you have the speed rack. And you could connect with people. You could see who's contributing to what. Uh, you're stuck on an article. You can broadcast it and tell somebody, look, I'm stuck on this. What can I do? Can somebody help me? You want to collaborate with me on it. This is the whole idea. It's getting us together and leveraging. You teach me, I teach you. You teach me things I don't know, I teach you things you don't know. And that's the whole idea for all of us to grow together as a scientific community. The tools are 